Welcome to Health Connection. I'm Chris Wilgus with Kettering Health Network, and we're talking today with Dr. Eric Hick of South Dayton Urological Associates. Thank you, first of all, for being here with us today. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thanks for the opportunity to talk with you. Sure. We want to talk about prostate cancer. First, what is a prostate? All right, so the prostate is a gland in the males that's below the bladder and in front of the rectum, and it can cause some urination problems with an enlarged gland, and it can also uh, lead to prostate cancer. Um, in the, uh, according to the American Cancer Society, in the year 2012, there were over 240,000 cases of prostate cancer, with over 28,000 men dying of prostate cancer last year. So it's pretty common. Well, we know that just the fact of having a prostate in men, one in six men are going to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Approximately one in 34 will die of the prostate cancer. It is the number one cancer diagnosis in men and it is the number two leading cause of cancer death in men. At what age should men start getting their prostates checked? The American Urologic Association uh, now recommends uh, at age 40, if you have high risks, uh, meaning a positive family history of prostate cancer, of uh, African American uh, ethnicity, or any other risk factors. And otherwise, we do it at 50 years old. Uh, the screening is annual, uh, and it consists of a blood test uh, called a PSA, which checks for prostate-specific antigen. It's a protein made by the prostate gland. And the other part of the component of the prostate cancer screening is the digital rectal exam, in which we actually will palpate the, the prostate for any abnormalities. Both pieces of information, the digital rectal exam and the PSA, are vital to uh, adequate prostate cancer screening annually. What kind of treatment options are available if someone is diagnosed with prostate cancer? Well, with prostate cancer, there's many different options, and it runs the gamut from active surveillance uh, through radiation therapies, uh, surgery, and also uh, cryotherapy and, and proton. Uh, we deal more with the surgical options. In the past, we uh, did the radical prostatectomy in an open fashion with a larger incision. Now, with technology, we're able to do the robotic prostatectomy here at, at Kettering Hospital. Uh, with many advantages, such as it's minimally invasive with a very small in incisions, uh, then that corresponds to less hospital stay, less need for transfusion, lower blood loss, less pain. And also the technology allows us to be more precise with our surgery and to increase the rate of continence and erectile function in these men postoperatively. They also only require the catheter for a shorter period of time as they would in the open, an open prostatectomy surgery. Keep watching for more Health Connections episodes. Look for the audio version on iTunes. Find Dr. Hick and other Kettering Physician Network doctors at KetteringPhysicianNetwork.org. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris.